Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my AC heater control delete video. Now, don't hate me. I'm warning you right now that we are going to rig this up. We're going to cut a piece of plastic. I'm going to give you an idea how to do it. It might seem like a, like something stupid right now, and you're like, oh, what, why the hell? What, why would anybody make a video like that? I'm making a video like that because the reality just hit me right now. Okay, this is going to be a vintage AC car, but it's Christmas time. I got to pay property taxes and stuff. I can't afford vintage air so it's either wait till about April or just put it together without it and that's what I'm gonna do now I am gonna be making a video 100% full coverage of everything I can put in the vintage air in the car but that's later so what's going on now is I'm getting my dash ready to put in the car I got everything for this thing except the freaking controls now vintage air is supposed to come with some so I never even thought about it but I want to put this in the car and I don't want to have a freaking hole right there. I want to put something there. Every single one of my heater controls looks like this. That piece, you can buy this piece, but it's about $50. To me, I'm not throwing away $50. They do have a, a aftermarket AC kit that uses this one, but I don't want anything. I don't even want that in there. I've always hated that GM style. I don't want it in there. I want that neat knobs and stuff, futuristic looking vintage air. So don't hate me for hating this. Uh, I'm going to put my vents right here in the car, so I'm not going to use that. Just in case you had no idea, they do sell one of these. It's like $45 in the magazines. Now, since they make this, we're not going to rig something that they make. you got to get this. Okay, now we got to figure out how to rig this. The best idea I can come up with is we're going to take it all apart, and we're going to just face it with something like this. So you have to get you some kind of sacrificial piece of plastic that's smooth. You need to put this in the light. You need to make sure it's, see this one's scratched up, but we're going to Plasti Dip it, we're going to paint it. See, the back is perfect, but the back has like those molding things in there. And it seems like it's really easy to find a piece of plastic. It's not. I already tried using paper. Uh, the paper doesn't work. It absorbs the paint the wrong way and it looks crappy, even with Plasti Dip. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these. And when I pull it out of here, I'm probably going to sell it to somebody. Somebody's going to buy it. So it's not like you're wasting your freaking money or time. You know, so that's why I said it sounds stupid, but when that reality hits you, what do I do? Leave a hole there or make something? Okay, and when we get done with this, I promise you, it's going to look like it came from the factory. You ain't even going to be able to tell. So let's go ahead and get started on this project just to give you an idea, and you let me know what you think about it in the end. So the only real thing about it is it has to be pretty freaking thin. Like I said, I was doing some tests on some paper and just got like weird reactions. Well, this one looks okay, but it has the little lines in it. And believe it or not, somebody's gonna ask me where I got that delete at on my car. And whenever I get my vintage AC in there, I'm gonna take that out and sell it for $20, $25. And somebody's gonna freaking buy it because I'm gonna have a picture of it in my car. So when you're gonna rig something, you gotta be as creative as possible. And rigging doesn't always mean to cut costs and time, okay? So we're trying to make a quality delete thing, and this is, this is what I came up with. It does have some scratches on it, but that'll just make it look original. I've already bleach soaked this, so let's go ahead and paint this. All right, to take this apart, all you gotta do is just pop these off. Now you're gonna need to save these. There's four, but one of them's busted off. It don't matter. These just these just pull off. Always save this because somebody needs these. Somebody out there will need those. This just comes off. See what happens. These glasses are this one's cracked. These are forty-four dollars. So that's kind of a bit of money to spend. We're not gonna use this. So we just take all the little screws off. Okay, it's got four. Take this off. Okay. This piece goes, screws to the dash, but no problems. Don't really need that paper. I've already bleach soaked this. Let's go ahead and cut this thing out. Who cares? Now, you know what? I'm going to spray with this. Yeah, see how important it is to get you a perfect piece, but this is all I had. It's fine. Okay, just make sure you're gluing to the right side. 
some spray glue. It's not fully dried, so I'm not touching it. That's all we did. That's all we're gonna do, and we're gonna put the clips back on. So yeah, it seems like common sense when you see it done, but let's go put it on the car and see what it looks like. Okay, so just be careful because you can scratch it. We want to just kind of put it where it goes. You see how it came out? It looks real good. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't look cheap. It looks like maybe that dash came like that from the factory. Real simple idea. It's not just some piece of crap just hung in there. All this stuff is bolted up like it would be from the factory. Okay, so that's just giving you an idea if you have a race car or just don't need none of that stuff. I'm going to be running that in my car for a while. Looks pretty cool. It doesn't matter what kind of car you're doing. It took me about 30 minutes to do the whole freaking job. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.